what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel glad to be back finally talking to all of you <clears throat> about some exclusive retro pie updates some things that have been kept secret secretively but also wanted to give you guys uh let you guys know i appreciate all of you for the subscribers everybody for watching i know we're going to get into the news so yes this is uh, some great news to hear. <clears throat> you haven't heard it on any other channels because it hasn't been updated. But <clears throat> forgive me if my throat is a little scratchy today. I still wanted to get on. I've been trying to get over for the past week or two. Don't know why it's been scratchy like this, but I've been taking care of myself. But uh, shout out to Level 1 Online. I will be mentioning him later on in the stream. <clears throat> Got to give him props for one of his recent videos that he put out. So uh, today's session is what's going on with RetroPie, what have I been up to, and I just wanted to keep all of you updated about currently things that are going on. Uh, keep in mind a lot of people who do reviews on RetroPie images and whatnot, uh, they're in the, community, but in the community, but they're not really in the community, and they're usually the last ones to find out about pertinent updates so what have i been up to so after i released venom i think i was a little burnt out with you know just retro pie answering a lot of the questions and stuff because most of the time i've spent <clears throat> excuse me spent a lot of the time just dealing with updates and making sure stuff would work and so after i released it i was kind of like a breath of fresh air because it allowed me to just take things and just uh, kind of enjoy you know, the work and a lot of other things. And in fact, <clears throat> I haven't even booted up Venom since I've released it. And so uh, just wanted to give you guys some updates currently about what's going on with RetroPie, some things you guys can expect. Uh, we may have some additional guests uh, join us later on in the stream because I always like to get confirmation of some of the information that I like to put out to all of you. So first and foremost, um, there's been a RetroPie sound update configs Pulse audio issue. I believe there was a recent update released to Raspberry Pi and also RetroPie. And it's supposed to enhance some things, but it removed some previous drivers that were needed for sound. And then in order to fix that, you have to do an update for that. Uh, I don't have all the specifics. However, I have encountered this myself. And I'm sure a lot of you have had this problem recently where you have used your RetroPie image and all of a sudden the sound just stopped working. I've also noticed this happen uh, when you're switching back and forth with HDMI, but I believe there was a, uh, some of the newer images out there have the Pulse audio fix that has been uh, added for that. Also, if you have any of the Supreme Ultra Bills, which would include Venom, uh, Retro, Wolfenosis, Retromania, and then also... Uh, Pistolero, you can go to the audio options, found in options, and then of course click on fix audio uh, 1080p or fix audio 720p, and that will primarily fix the issue. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there's been a lot of concerns regarding Ultimark products working on the Pi 4. Uh, some of Ultimark's products include the aim track gun and also their spinner. So I know it's still talked about in the forums, but I, I did a video back in January and I was giving you guys an update. Aim track update uh, right now is still being worked on on the Pi 4. I am in collaboration with a few of the devs to get the Ultimark Amtrak gun working on the Pi 4. There is slowly uh, being rolled out, and I just wanted to keep you guys updated about that because there's only a couple of people really familiar with that. And ironically, you know, myself included, a lot of us didn't read the directions prior to installing the aim track script on a lot of the Pi images. Because even though aim track does work on the Pi 4, which it does, keep in mind, it's if you're transitioning from the Pi 3 to the Pi 4, it has specific emulators that it needs to work with. I think one of them was Advanced MAME and another one was MAME for all. So those are two of uh, things that I'm working on. Now, that may also affect the spinner. I was talking to one of the guys in the group, and he was wondering how come his Ultimark spinner doesn't work on the Pi 4. 
However, it does work, but it's probably running into the same problem as the aim track light gun. Now, keep in mind the aim track script for the Pi 3 and the Pi 4 is pretty much the same thing. That's not supported by Ultimario. A dev in the community recently, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, not recently, but they worked on that some time ago. That's something from the community. So keep in mind a lot of the things that you guys, uh, updates that I'm giving you, things that are being made available to you are made by community members and nothing from a company or let's say RetroPie official, anything of that nature. What's going on, Wolfenos? Level one, thank you guys for joining. Uh, so I think that's what we're going on with that right now with the aim track. I was hopefully, I was trying to get it finished by March. I am collaboration with a couple of other devs. So it is taking some time. Uh, however, if you want to try to help speed up this process, um, you can subscribe to me on my Patreon. Those tip type of donations help projects like these as well as them as well. So I will be bringing out some more information about that, keeping aim track uh, or getting it working on the Pi 4. Uh, addition to that, send in light gun update for RetroPie. So as you guys know, it's been a pain in the butt to get the configurations accurately or currently, uh, I would say having a global configuration setting set up for send in light gun. Haven't talked to Andy in a while, but keep in mind that there are ways to currently set up the send in light gun uh, that is correct. There is our current ways to set up the send in light gun on the Pi 4, but keep in mind, even after you set up the configuration, because a lot of people had questions about this on uh, after Pistolero, you still need to go through each game and set it up. So there are some guys that do have definitely set it up. I haven't completed mines, but I am working on a global config in collaboration with some other devs to help simplify that. So uh, that is something that we are working on. I know I did make a mention of this back, uh, I think it was November, December, something like that, where uh, there will be an additional update come February, but obviously things take time. But uh, yeah, you would have to still go through each game, which is about 170 so games, and manually configure everything in order to get it to work on the Pi 4, even after you have all the software set up. Uh, another thing. So quite recently, you know, I am a member of the community besides making uh, tutorials, besides uh, making my own image and releasing videos. You know, I am a fan of RetroPie images. And so one of the things I've personally been disgusted with has been a lot of the new images being released, not featuring any updates or any major advancements uh, and in fact, in some cases, it's actually been a step backwards. In fact, you can find more Pi 3B plus images that have more scripts and more options and things you can do than you have seen. I've seen recently on some of the Pi 4 images. So a couple of those advancements have been the video output script that anybody can manually add. That is also the other terminology as RK1 I've ready because you can go into that config and it'll manually set up uh, your uh, aspect ratio 5.4 primarily uh, for your uh, RetroPie device. So you can use it on your RK1 of cabinet. And then of course it still has 720p capability and then it also has 1080p and whatnot. Uh, moving on to the next one. A new Daphne Singe. Now, I know this has been out for several months. However, I have not seen any images uh, with this latest emulator. Uh, you do need to have Daphne installed. So Daphne Singe is another emulator. Uh, you can currently compile it. I haven't had time to do it. Definitely want to thank uh, David Marty for uh, pointing me in the right direction and sending me the files. So I haven't compiled this yet, but it offers the ability to play some of the other uh, Daphne games that uh, that normally won't play it allows you to play it on your Pi 4. So I believe some of those games would include games like Road Blaster and uh, several other uh, uh, ROMs that typically won't play through the Daphne set. So that's another uh, good thing there that you do have more expandability now using Daphne Singe. I've seen it work. I haven't had a chance to compile it myself. Again, you can install this on any RetroPie image, but keep please keep in mind 
that if you do this, there may be a hiccup or two. You know, you guys know how RetroPie images are. You know, you touch one little thing and something else will break. So please keep that in mind that if you do want to add Daphne Singe, I think it is spelled S-Y-N-G-E, Daphne S-Y-N-G. I believe that is the correct spelling for it. You can Google it. But yeah, you can compile that on RetroPie 4 or your Pi 8 gigabyte model, uh, Pi 4 8 gigabyte model and get it working. Uh, lastly, well, I'm sorry, this isn't last. <laughs> I still got a couple of ways to go here. Uh, wondering, should I reveal the Ven Venom Easter egg to you guys? There's several Easter eggs. I know I showed Wolf and Nose one of them earlier. He kind of got a kick out of it. And so, you know what? Give me a second here. I'll go ahead and pull up one of them here. Give me a second. I'm just pulling it up. Uh, let's take a look here. Do do do. And while I have you guys in the chat, are you guys currently enjoying any of the latest images, RetroPie, that uh, we released with the Supreme Team? Da -da -da -da. I want to thank. We got about twenty-eight people watching right now. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Let me see. I can't find the one I was really looking for, but I'll mention it before I mention the last item that I want to talk about today. Um, let me see here. All right, so I think I'll pull up screen share in a minute. All right, so let me remove this, and then we will go to... Share screen. All right, so this is the template that I made Venom with in Adobe After Effects. And I had a reason when I showcased Venom why you guys saw the marquee video playing over and over and over again. I was trying to give you guys a hint. And if you listen to the end of that video, I kind of laughed and said, hey, you guys still didn't see what I was talking about or the Easter egg that I put in Venom. So here's one of them. This is very small, nothing really major. So in part of the Venom image, while you have the text and everything rolling around in the background, you have the complete lyrics to Venom here. Let me see if I can move this. Well, you can't really make it out on, the, on your screen, but I can see it here. So you have the complete lyrics to the song Venom. And the next one, uh, Venom is simply a dummy text printing and type eating industry. Venom is my brainchild and is perfect in every way. So that's another one. Let me see if I have another one here. Uh, do, 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 do. You know what? I'll save this for the end because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. And then, of course, let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Got something else here. Uh, I thought it'd be all right. So originally the name for Venom was called obviously it was called Venom, but it was more or less in response to a lot of the haters out there. And as I said before, it's really unfortunate that a lot of people weren't too supportive when we were trying to get RetroPie working on the Pi 4. So when RetroPie Beta 1 was released, this is exactly what it says here. Many people laugh. Venom is uh, derived from the taste his enemies left in his mouth that they thought he would fail, uh, fail. Venom wants revenge. They will give him his respect whether they want it or not. So that's what some of this says here, uh, here in uh, the Venom image. And then, of course, I have mentioned, I mentioned a few other things, too. But if you guys spend your time, you can actually find it. So I'll go ahead and minimize that. So last but not least, uh, and I think this is probably where the majority of my show is going to go. Uh, the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. Now, when it first was released, a lot of people said the Pi 4 gigabyte model was the same as the 8 gigabyte model. And I definitely want to re-reference this because I did a 64-bit OS comparison to RetroPie, no, no, I'm sorry, not RetroPies, but Raspberry uh, OS when it released. And 
what I stated in that video was that you can't get all the functionalities or the abilities or access everything that it has available because RetroPie is still limited because it is a 32-bit front end. And a lot of people in, uh, I believe when uh, the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model first came out, images wouldn't load on it. You guys couldn't boot because it was a different architecture. And I've, we've, a lot of us found that out the hard way. So in collaboration with a lot of the things that has been going on, and I mentioned this in Venom when I was working on this, and it is mentioned on the video, uh, there is currently a 64-bit RetroPie base out there. Um, I don't know specifically who has it right now, but if uh, that image or that base is made available, you will get better performances on your Pi Retro Pi base as opposed to using the Pi 4. So you guys haven't seen it, I will, I, but I am telling you there is a Retro Pi 64 bit version available. Now, I don't know when it's going to hit, but it, we do a lot of us, several of us actually know about it. It's been around for quite some time. That's why I mentioned it in the Venom image as far as a te teaser. In fact, you can actually see it on some of the texts. I couldn't find uh, the actual template as to where it was, but it is available. Uh, it is out there. Uh, several of us, well, I would think maybe a few of us have actually seen it, but uh, we I don't have an estimated time as to when uh, it's going to release. Now, this is not a rumor. This is not a situation about, hey, maybe they might release a Raspberry Pi 5. Yeah, none of that nonsense. Because even if there was a Raspberry Pi 5 or 6 and RetroPie still operated in a 32-bit format, you're still going to have hindrances. But because of having a 64-bit RetroPie image, it would allow us to tie into some additional things. It would allow you to tie in, let's say, Dolphin Emulator, which runs the Wii U. Uh, that requires a 64-bit OS, so you could possibly install that on the front end directly instead of having to go to the desktop. So that's another advancement. Now, uh, one of the last topics that I definitely want to bring up is I definitely want to give a huge shout-out to Level 1 Online, and I got to give him props because – let me close some of this mess out. Let me close some of this stuff. I'm going to pull up Level 1 Online's channel. I want to show you guys what he pulled off and is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Let's pull up Level 1 Online. And Level 1 Online released a video on April Fool's Day. And a lot of you checked it out. He has 1.7 thousand views currently. Five. And he put up this spoof, Megaton Nintendo Switch on Raspberry Pi 4, now 100% playable. And if you look at a lot of these comments and you see I even laughed on this myself, you scroll down here, a lot of people said, ah, you got it, you know, you got me, you know, this is really funny, you got this with the accent, and yo, you know, we thought you were really running this. He did a great job piecing this together. And the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because... This was not a spoof. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is not a spoof. Yes. Nintendo Switch emulation is now possible on the Pi 4. There is a specific emulator called Yowza, and it runs at full speed, but is only on the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. Now, I haven't had a chance to compile it yet on Ultra. I have all the instructions. I have all of uh, everything that is available. But definitely shout out to Level 1 for putting out this video. A lot of people believe it was a spoof or April Fool joke. However, it was the honest to God truth that Nintendo Switch emulation has finally hit the Pi 4. And again... Now putting the video was totally fabricated, but there is truth to my video. Yeah. So yeah, the command that he put in in his video was fake. He totally spoofed the video, but he knew the truth, but it's actually real that yes, you can emulate Nintendo Switch on the Pi 4. And what's interesting about this is you get better performance from my understanding 
emulating Nintendo Switch than you do Nintendo Wii or Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So in all honesty, I know you guys have seen me in some of the groups. You've seen me posting some of this stuff over and over again. You've heard YouTubers and other people saying you, it doesn't matter whether you have a Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. The 8 gigabyte model is not going to give you anything. It doesn't do anything. Well, you got to keep in mind that <laughs> you got to keep in mind that the Raspberry Pi 4 gig or 8 gigabyte model really hasn't been tapped into. And there hasn't been a lot of development with it. And it's slowly going in that direction. And so remember, with emulation, a lot of the emulators, if you can get the emulator to operate correctly, can run specific games. Now, there is a huge difference between the Dolphin emulator and I believe it's called Yowza, which is the Nintendo Switch emulator. And so uh, make a long story short, however, it is possible. Again, I am working on compiling it. Some of the other Supreme devs are currently working on it right now. Uh, in terms of tidying up a few little glitches and hitches and stuff there. But uh, that is the big news today, gentlemen, in regards to the Pi 4 64-bit OS for RetroPie uh, and, and also being able to emulate Nintendo Switch games on the Pi 4 8-gigabyte model. So uh, some of you, if you guys are familiar with RetroPie Official, when people have said, uh, hey, should I get the Pi 4, the 8 gigabyte? And sometimes I would say, yeah, the 8 gigabyte model. We knew this stuff going months back. And the reason why I put it in Venom is because if it was announced before I did this video or had uh, this opportunity, then you guys would all know about it. In fact, give me one second. Let me get my headset in. And we have a guest with us today and maybe expound on this a little bit more. Give me one second. Supreme, you there? Hello. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Not much at all. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us, uh, joining us live here on my YouTube channel. Uh, let me just turn up the sound for a second. I think you have a lot of uh, feedback, so we can hear you. So go ahead. Uh, what's going on? Do you want to chime in? What are you talking about right now exactly? Sorry, I'm not watching the broadcast. I just joined the chat. So what are you guys talking about right now? Yeah, so here we have the 64-bit uh, RetroPie and uh, Nintendo Switch. But give me one second. Let me so get somebody in here. I think they just cut out for a second. One second. Uh, so currently we're on the Nintendo Switch emulation running on the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. Can you hear me still or no? Yeah, you're on live right now with everybody. Okay, awesome. So we're talking about the Switch right now? Yep, we're talking about the emulation and the Nintendo Switch running on the Pi. Okay, so people that are interested in the Switch emulation on the Pi 4 currently would only install on Supreme Ultra, sadly. It's because of the dependencies that the, the Supreme team have worked on to get, the, obviously, the Switch emulator to work. Because I've, I've told you know quite a bit of people about this already, you included. And people get mad and they're like, oh, I installed it on my Pi 4 image, but it won't work. And that's because some of the dependencies are not available on the Pi 4. You have to actually manually install them. That's why the install method is pretty, you know, pretty long. It's not just, you know, here I'll copy five commands and, and then I'll get, you know, the switch emulation working. But besides that, you know, it's an extra maybe 10 commands and then, yeah, you can get it working. But sadly, it only works on the 64-bit OS and you mm -hmm. need the 8 gigabyte model of the Pi 4 because of a memory leak issue that the Supreme team is actually currently working on. So it runs full speed, but it, on the 8 gigabyte model, you'll get like two, three minutes of gameplay, and then it just crashes. And that's not because of the emulator. It's just because of a memory leak issue that can be fixed within, you know, a few tweaks, which the Supreme team, again, is working on. And I guess you, you know a few people, too, right, that are working on it. To get it of course. Running. 
Yeah, besides that, yeah, the, that video wasn't a joke. The Nintendo Switch emulator does work, and there is a lot of proof to it. Because if you want to, you can actually go to the Nintendo Switch emulation website. You can go to their Linux page, and you can download their their instructions on how to install it on Ubuntu. You can do that. Uh -huh. But what's going to happen is four dependencies are going to fail, and you're going to have to manually add them. Once you do that, boom, it works. Right. Yeah, the reason why I'm not sharing that information today, I believe Wolfenos posted a link to where you guys can also look at this, is because uh, obviously, when you know, personally, when I do things, we want to test it. You know, we want to play around with it, test it, and didn't want to present the, you know, even though we're telling you it is possible right now, I didn't want to put you guys in a position to try to, you know, yeah, start filling around with true. things. And then you guys start messing up stuff and asking questions. And, we, you know, we're still in the process of trying to understand yeah, it and get it working. It's very, te it's very tedious right now. Like, it's very, very tedious. Like, well, yes, it works, but yes, it doesn't at the same time, right? Because right now it does crash, right? It loads up like any game you want to play. It loads it up. And then after two minutes, it just your, your pie basically freezes. And then it says something about memory leak, something like that. And uh, it's really, you know, a piss off. But it's something that can be worked on and fixed. It's just a little few tweaking. It's just because, you know, dependencies were installed manually and they're not automatically installed. So it could be a failed, you know, dependency. It could be a failed, you know, driver because the right. drive core is all over the place right now, right? Like now they're pushing Pulse Audio with like, you know, as soon as you update, it's mandatory update now. Um, the Vulcan drivers are still very experimental on the Pi 4. You know, it's it's a headache right now with the Pi 4 in general. But yeah, the Switch emulation, you know, if, to be honest with you, I would say, no, the Switch emulation does not work right now. It doesn't work at all. I just, it, I'm just saying that because it loads and crashes, right, after two minutes. You know what I mean? Right. But that's something that can be fixed. So that's why I'm saying it right now. Like you said, you're not showing it off yourself because if you show it off now, what's going to happen? Right? Yeah, of course. And then, of course, other people are going to follow up with the website and the instructions and stuff. And then, of course, not be familiar with Supreme Ultra or what other builders may have added to their personal base. But as we know right now, based upon what they're saying, we know like that it can work oh. on the Supreme Ultra build. We don't. I can't confirm whether yeah. or not it'll work on somebody else's base. And the reason why it works on Supreme Ultra basically out of the box is because most don't actually know this, which is kind of funny. Is Supreme Ultra has the Dolphin emulation on there on the on the build itself. So you right. just enable the 64-bit support. Now it's running in 64-bit support. You type in what two commands? I can't remember exactly how many commands. Two, three, and then yeah, I think it's up. like three. Yeah, then it loads up Dolphin. And, the, and because all the dependencies for Dolphin are installed, they're basically the same dependencies that Switch emulation needs. And it's to me, it's very odd how the Switch runs full speed compared to the Dolphin, which is stuttery, and, and to me, it doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the one thing about emulation and playing games and so forth. I mean, it's like you have all this stuff. You have technology now that still can't play some games correctly. But it's almost we all like know. the argument. It's like, why is PlayStation 1 games run full speed, but N64 has such a hard time, right? You know what I mean? It's just like they're both roughly around the same release year, right? And why Yeah, or even a Thomas Wave. Yeah, or even a Thomas Wave or Naomi or some of the other games can run better than, yeah. you know, playing Killer Instinct. But again, yeah, that's all of an emulation issue. Yeah, compared to Dreamcast, for example, right? Dreamcast and, Naomi <laughs> and all that stuff, right? Why does Dreamcast games run flawlessly? It's It all has to do with the emulation, right? Like the, the software itself, that's the issue. It's not the, it's not the games, whatever. Because right, like, of N64 has a way con complex, you know, architecture and stuff like that that is not friendly to developers right that's why playstation was like boom 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 bang it's finished works out of the box and then n64 you need a super high-end gaming computer to run it you know full speed with no issues well not a full oh, gaming definitely. computer right you need you know mm. any decent computer can run it like four gigabytes a model and a dual core you know what i mean like oh of course pretty much full speed but playstation you can run it on a freaking single core atom processor 
Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so I'm just showing a few clips here from uh, Level 1 Online's recent video of a spoof video. But, yeah, again, guys, so this is the uh, step. next step for RetroPie is being able to fully utilize the Pi 4 8-gigabyte model. And, uh, again, shout out to Level 1 for putting out this nice spoof video here because people honestly thought it was a spoof. But, yeah, here it is. It's the truth. Do you want to post, <laughs> Do you wanna post the, the link in the chat for people to actually – follow the instructions like just the website not like not the exact link but the actual emulator website uh the yuzu.emu.org yeah they can go there and follow the steps and all they need to do is go to download the supreme ultra base and then just follow those steps and it should install all right guys but please keep in mind supreme ultra we can't verify whether or not it works on other bases you know, that is one of the things about Supreme Ultra is that it's the best base around. I'm not going to lie. That's why I use it. You know, a lot of work went into it. Oh, and to thanks, make Wolf it. I've seen Wolf and O shared the link. Yeah, because like it does work on Ultra. I haven't tried it on any other base. But like I said, the reason why it works on Ultra for is because Ultra has a 64 bit switch. You can turn it on and off, on and off, right? And keep Definitely. in mind, it only works in the desktop mode. The 64-bit only works in the desktop. So sadly, you have to use the desktop. You can't load it through Emulation Station. It just doesn't work. And then you follow the steps. And then it's basically like Dolphin. It'll load up. But mm -hmm. like I said, guys, it, it crashes after two minutes of gameplay. If you guys are more maybe knowledgeable than us at the Supreme team here, you guys can go into it and you know play around with settings or something or figure out why it's memory crashing because you know that's the only issue that it has and then besides that it works yeah because yeah we'll definitely get it up and working you know we just wanted to put the word on the street let you guys know what all the advancements are because you know, I don't think you heard this part, but I was telling everyone, you know, I've been pretty disgusted with a lot of the news that I've seen and just clickbait stuff and uh, retro pie images that have recently been released. And we've been sitting on this information for months now, not Nintendo Switch. I think I've just been picked up on that a couple of days ago. But as far as the 64 bit OS, as far as retro pie and so forth, and some other advancements that are out there. And, you know, for me, a member of the community, those are things that I look for. It's like, hey, what direction are we going in? You know, we have the Pi Marquee script. You know, it plays videos and stuff now. Like, what are some of the other images that are out there? Yeah, that a lot of really... people, like, I, I got pretty sick and tired of man. people always saying, like, you know, like, I, I feel bad for the Supreme team at the same time, too. Like, I'm not really fully part of them anymore, but I still, you know, associate with them. And... Uh, I feel so bad for the other members in the team, right? First off, they said, you know, uh, Retro Pi doesn't work on the Pi 4. And what does Supreme do? They bring it out. And then there was the Marquee. They bring it out. Mm -hmm. Then it was the mm -hmm. Light Gun. They bring it out. Like, and then they'll get all hated on. Like, oh, right. you took that. You took this. You, you did that. I'm, I'm sitting here, like, sh uh, you know, shaking my head, scratching my head. You 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 were first, but you don't have an image out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need to rehash the deal about how RetroPie even got on the Pi Four in the first place. So, yeah. um, and you know, but, there's, you know, there's awesome people. Like, people don't understand this. The Supreme Team is not one person; it's a community. Like, anybody can come into your chat right now and talk, and they'll be part of the Supreme Team, right? Anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're in the Supreme group and you've shared information or you've helped, you're part of the Supreme Team. And that's what they oh, post so many times, right? Like, you're part of the Supreme Team, Wolf and O's, Damaso, Level 1 Online, you know, Tom down the street. You know, it's it's everybody. Everybody working together to make one awesome thing. Because if you don't come together, what is there? You know what I mean? That's very true. You know, I, I, yeah, that's very true. Uh, some uh, Chris Lev, thanks for watching. Uh, he said, whatever we, you know, whatever we do, you'll always find trolls. And, you know, again, you know, for me... I get tired. I don't even troll people. I just let people troll themselves. But, you know, this is a community. We're trying to make things better for exactly. everyone. And there are going to be bumps along the road. You know, there's going to be testing. Like even right now, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation can work. Obviously, there's a hurdle. There's a few things that need to yeah, be fixed. Yeah, there's people, people going to be in the chat and be like, oh, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. And we're saying, you know what? Go try it yourself. There's instructions on their official website that even says Ubuntu, and we all know Raspberry OS and Ubuntu are pretty much like, you know, the same OS. Uh -huh. 
you know what I mean? And uh, it works. It just, there's a, you know, a cutoff, obviously, because of memory leakage. Right. But again, that will be fixed within, you know, maybe a couple days. Exactly. A week, a week or so, and then it'll work fine. Mm-hmm. But we're not hiding See, anything. We're not saying, oh, don't don't install it. Don't install it. We're sharing the links to the website and the instructions on how to do it. You know what I mean? But there's going to be trolls saying, it's fake, it's fake. Right. But, you know, for me, I look at everything from a technical perspective. You know, like, even if it's 50% or 10%, it's showing possibilities and it's showing promise. And then it lets other people in the community know what's, you know, what we're looking at. You know, as far as, uh, you know, the advancements that are being made and, you know, that's what the community should definitely be about and stuff, you know, because yeah, I don't need, think we have time yeah, to come together and work together. Right. Like if the community didn't come together, the Supreme wouldn't be a build. Right. That's why the credit system on Supreme. A lot of people don't know this, too, is the Supreme credits is massive. There's a lot of people that have built Supreme that have actually helped. Right. Like the right. structure of Supreme are the testers. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want a build coming out that's like, like you know, what's his name's build and there's like 2,000 freaking updates when you download the build. It's in there. You download the build and you have 2,000 updates after you had to go through like 10 different unlocks, passwords. You have to get, go to this form to get a password to unlock the zip and then when you unzip it, you need a password for, you know, the file. It's, it's like, holy moly, man. And then once you get the build downloaded, you have 20 updates. Yeah, so to answer no, bad player's no, question, he – oh, hold on one second. So to answer bad player's question, he says, so, so now we're waiting for a 64-bit fork of emulation station. Pretty much. We're waiting for a 64-bit OS version of RetroPie. So keep that in mind that even if the Raspberry Foundation releases a Pi 5, a Pi 6, a Pi 7 – None of that is really important compared to having a 64-bit OS RetroPie emulation station version to safely run everything on. That's bigger news and shows more progress than something else. Because remember, uh, even though typically like when I make videos and maybe other reviewers make videos, we're basing a lot of our understanding about what RetroPie can do. I'm sorry, uh, what? The Pi Four can do, or Pi can do, okay. based okay, well, on I the limitations going, of Retro Pi. Go on, man. Yeah, thanks for Yo, joining. Yo, I, I appreciate going. it. But to clear up a few things, yeah. I mean, but before I leave, though, to clear up a few things, yeah. Um, there is a Retro Pi is now supporting sixty four bit, and Retro Arch is sixty four bit supported now, but the cores are still not. And emulation station, of course, needs to be in 64-bit for Linux as well. I, I think there is a version of it out already, but I'm not too clear. But yeah, to clear up a few things, if you download a 64-bit OS of Raspberry OS and install Retro Pi, it is 64-bit. But again, everything that's in it is not. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks for right, clarifying like that. Emulators uh, are not. Perfect. Well, thanks for clarifying that. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, peace out, guys. Later, man. Okay, no problem. Okay, bye. All right, guys, so there you have it. We had some uh, additional information in regards to Nintendo Switch. Uh, is uh, Wolf of Nose, am I saying this correctly? Is it is it Yuza? Y-U-Z-U? Could have sworn the other day I looked at it. I thought it was Yuza, but it's actually Yuza is the Nintendo Switch emulation, and uh, it's going to be running. So you guys have uh, two advancements to look forward to probably next month or two. No, no, no I'm not going to promise a timeline on that. So you have Nintendo Switch emulation and then also 64-bit RetroPie or 64-bit emulation station. Uh, Yuzu. Yuzu. Okay, perfect. It's pronounced Yuzu. So those are going to be some of the other major, uh, major advancements. And again, apparently the emulation for Yuzu runs better than the Dolphin on uh, RetroPie. So, um, you know, maybe Dolphin emulator has a problem uh, corresponding or uh, reacting with Linux. That could be the only other problem I could see because I know Dolphin runs fine on PC. And so that's probably the biggest barrier there. Yeah, so basically the Sega. Yeah, I wasn't referring to that emulator. I'm, I'm familiar with that one, the Sega Saturn one. But it's Yuzu is uh, the S Nintendo Switch emulation. So um, we have any more questions? I, I'm not going to scroll up right now, but if you guys have any more questions, 
uh, regarding the cast, some of the things that we discussed. And so uh, one of the other Easter eggs that I did mention on the Venom image was that it was not made for Retro Pi Pi 4. It was also made for a 64-bit OS. That is another one of the Easter eggs that I did include in uh, Venom. If you guys have had the time or if you look at that marquee script, watch that video, uh, it is in there. And I put a lot of that information there because, again, some of these other announcements that came out, you guys will at least had a time step to say, hey, Keo told us about this. Uh, well, I know I have this on here. Here, let me show you guys this. Um, so I know I put this on here. This is one of it. RetroPie EEPROM update full USB boot support, marquee uh, V3, 64-bit uh, support for... All right, that's part of it, but there was another one. I know I put it somewhere else on the video where it says 64-bit or S or it was actually made for a... Let me see here. Let me see if this is it. Yeah, I put a lot of little secrets and stuff out here. Uh, we feel we'll use the transform body when we compare. No, that's not it. Ah, here it is right here. Warning, do not open. So I'm sure you guys all saw this on my RetroPie video when I released Venom. And then, of course, I'm sure you guys all saw this <laughs> on the Pi Marquee. It says, warning, Venom was made for RetroPie 64-bit. Repeat, 64-bit RetroPie is in development, which calls the delay of Venom 64-bit ready. So there you go. There you have it. If you guys check your image with this video, you will see the, it's the exact same text. I'll blow it up for you guys here. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have done that. Let me do edit. I do. Um, let's go move this over so you guys can see it. There it is. Warning. Venom was made for 64-bit RetroPie. 64-bit. Repeat. 64-bit RetroPie is in development, which caused the delay of Venom. 64-bit ready. So there is the major Easter egg spoiler. There are still several more on venom but this was one of the biggest ones and i've tried to keep it a secret from you guys for a very long time because well hell why not it was fun to do <laughs> uh any questions any concerns i definitely want to thank everybody for watching today so hopefully we'll get some actual uh video footage for you of nintendo switch running on the pi 4 a gigabyte model uh, again, we can only confirm that it works on Supreme Ultra. Can't verify if it works anywhere else as of right now, unless you guys want to try the instructions. But keep in mind, there are some additional fixes that we are aware of that definitely needs to be added. I don't want someone to try to add it and say, oh, Keo said it could work, but it doesn't. Uh, 60, uh, Supreme Ultra has 64-bit support. So yeah, so if you are using another base, First and foremost, it has to have 64-bit support in order for this to be utilized. That is the first thing. And then, of course, you guys know how bases are and people put out images. If they started tinkering and messing around with stuff, that may prevent that from happening. But we can promise that it will work on Retromania, Wolfenosa's image, uh, Venom, uh, Pistolero, or any other personal... Uh, Supreme Ultra Base somebody may have been working on or, and decided to go ahead and put out. So we are aware of this. We can confirm it. You guys have heard it not just from me, but some other people. Uh, Level 1 Online, awesome gag, because he was telling the truth and people thought it was an April Fool's joke. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we put out things like that. You know, and I've actually had my own encounters where people thought I was trolling and I was actually telling the truth. Uh, I remember it was a couple of years ago, actually, when uh, we were working on, what was it, RetroPie or porting it over? And I was testing some things and people kept saying that I was clickbait or blue balls or whatever the case might be and posting teasers. It wasn't teasers. It was just showing you what it can actually do. So, yeah. And I think I've actually mentioned a few of those names as Easter eggs in the in the uh, Venom image, too. <laughs> Uh, let me scroll up through the chat here. I think I had some other. Okay, level one had to bounce. Level one says had to get going. Thanks for covering this, Keo. Appreciate it. 
Uh, I am the interstellar for Beyond or with free thinking. Uh, what about Xbox 360 or PS3 or PS4? Okay, so um, I do have some additional information regarding RetroPie as it pertains to Xbox and also PlayStation, PlayStation 3. Uh, there may be some advancements with RetroPie in regards to that. Not emulation, but using the... Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I should say. So I do have some additional information regarding Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One X. What is it? Yeah, Xbox One X and then also PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, I'm sorry, uh, regarding Raspberry Pi. So I'm not going to talk about it today, but make sure you hit the notification bell because I will keep you guys all updated regarding that when I decide to put that information up because I got to get some equipment, help supply some devs with that to help make that possible. So we are brainstorming. You know what? Screw it. I'll tell you what it is. So there is a possibility where you may be able to incorporate the Raspberry Pi and use it on the PlayStation 5 and also the Xbox uh using it like a chrono zen so if you guys are familiar with my chrono zen stuff using it as a gaming adapter that is something that we've talked about pushed some ideas to see if it may be possible to do that so not emulation on uh, the retro pi or the raspberry pi but using it as some type of controller adapter so again we're in talks for that if you ask me questions about that in the groups and whatnot What's going on, Kong? You want to uh, you want to rematch? <laughs> so if you see me in the groups, you guys ask me about that. We're definitely not there yet, but we are in talks to see how we could fully push uh, the Raspberry Pi to maybe do something equivalent like that. Uh, any other questions? You guys have any other questions, concerns, technical support? You know, it's amazing. We have a lot of guys in RetroPie Official who will ask a lot of questions. But when I go on live, I'm like, hey, well, who got questions? And then, you know, they don't, you know, say anything. I think uh, somebody was also asking, can the Supreme team or someone make a script that would make something work with RGB? I said, yeah, sure. You know, for a nominal fee, you know, nobody makes scripts or anything for free. But, um, you know, that's what's going on. Wolf of Nose, thank you guys for joining. Uh, did you want to join the live stream or do you just want to sit there in the chat? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I will be back on live streaming again, but as far as right now, those are our major updates with RetroPie. So just to kind of quickly recap, again, we're going to make some updates in regarding to the aim track gun. We're still working for that. Hopefully getting working on the Pi 4. Also, that update may subsequently affect the rest of the Altimark products and how they correspond with the Pi 4 because um, I talked to an arcade builder and he had some spinners not working or his uh, encoders weren't working with, uh, I think it was a spinner or something with their Pi 4. So that may be taken care of. In regards to sending, we are looking into a simpler way uh, to have a global config be able to set up and work all across all 100 and. 70 so light gun games that the pie can actually run. I know you could do it manually, but it's a pain in the butt. Uh, new Daphne emulation. I mean, it's been out for several months, but there's not too many people talking about it in regards to Retro Pie. Daphne Singe is available. I believe it's S Y N G E. Uh, you guys can look it up. I do have all the files for that. So I'll try to compile it, but you know, it's it's been honestly really good to kind of step away. I've been posting a lot of firework videos. If you guys check out my other channel, Kill Boomed, I can. So it's allowed me to maybe you know do some movie reviews finally. So that's you know, it's kind of freed up my time to uh discuss other topics that I love to talk about. Um again, I've also done some coin op stuff with ad games. I've also done my Atari build. You guys have saw that. So RetroPie really just kind of engulfed a lot of stuff, you know, in terms of testing, 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 testing. You add one little thing, you got to retest everything all over again. Uh, the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model uh, is, is the same as, oh, hold up, sorry, here I got something going on. Uh, the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model, people have always claimed that it's the same as the 8 gigabyte or the 4 gigabyte model or reference previous videos. 
Yeah, that's that's a funny one. But, you know, a lot of information that's put out there are not made by devs. They're not made by image makers or people who have really spent a lot of time, I would say, pushing the, the margin. You know, they, they read articles or they'll get information from other people like myself and then focus on those things. Uh, let's see. Kill blowing up neighborhoods is enjoyable. Definitely. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there is a distinct difference. So now you guys will see the biggest difference between the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model and the 4 gig. And it would be silly to think that the Raspberry Foundation would put out an 8 gigabyte model, not push the limits of it, push it out there, and then come up with like a Raspberry Pi 5 or any of that nonsense. So again, you do have all these advancements slowly being made in the realm of emulation for RetroPie. Uh, shout out to Level One Online. Make sure you guys check out his channel if you guys like his content. Uh, biggest April Fool prank, I think, in a while because he actually told the truth and people thought it was a joke. New Pi 4 emulation regarding the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model for Nintendo Switch. It is definitely a thing. So, uh, again, thank all of you guys for watching today. If you have any questions, you guys can answer me right now. A gigabyte is a definite difference, especially with a 64-bit OS. Definitely. You know, Wolf and Oz, it, and, and that's the silly part, because people who said that there was really no difference didn't factor that crap in. You know, that's the thing that really makes me wonder. You know, we all know that's the biggest thing, even when you have a Windows-based operating system, but it, 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 yeah, I, I can't figure it out. So... I'm going to go shoot some fireworks. It's Easter. Let's go blow up something and uh, hope you guys have some fun. I'll probably rename this video. I don't know if I should or not since the cat is out of the bag now, but hopefully, hopefully you guys appreciated this information. Complete, accurate, foolproof. It's there. No clickbait. Hope you guys enjoy your day. Kyo Daikin. Kyo Boom Daikin. Signing out and don't oh Kong yeah I'll give you that rematch man <laughs> I'll I'll give you that rematch man just let me know but I gotta charge you an appearance fee <laughs> or if you want to jump on Xbox right now and uh, you want me to teach you a few things let me know <laughs> all right guys um, I'm signing out now hope it's been fun just wanted to leave this video short no it went on for about a good hour. But I've been busy, and I'm glad my throat isn't as scratchy today. Check out my other channel, Kia Boom, I can. Later, fellas. <laughs>